today we are gathered here to witness the Child and Arts Academy Incorporated BSP and GSP Simultaneous School Camperat with the theme BSP Sustaining Growth and GSP The Growth Vision A Sustainable World for All. Let us all stand for the tricolor hymn to be led by Jaren Claire Hamero, Gracious Jade Quadra, and Kizia Faith Dalida conducting. And please remain standing for our prayer by Sean R. Daniel. Stop sign. Thank you. 
in the presence of the Lord, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for the good health, your blessings, and graces. As we start our event this day, we ask your holy presence to guide us so that it will become successful. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, Tita Ellen. Okay, so, my due respect to our institutional head, Tita Maripel R. Ramos, to my beloved co-adult leaders and CAA staff, to our ever-valued and supportive parents, and to our dear scouters. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. GSP Simultaneous School Conqueror with a dance for BSP Sustained Growth and for GSP The Girls' Vision A Sustainable World for All. So this yearly scouting activity aims to teach the young scouters in basic, basic life skills and develop their potentials to be a good leader in their own capacity. So this activity will also serve as prerequisite to much more bigger scouting activity. So just like what Jan Kenzie Adams said, if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. Okay, so scouters, are you ready for today's scouting? day and may all of us enjoy the rest of the day. Once again, good morning. Okay, thank you so much for the warm welcome, Tita Annalie. At this juncture, let us call Tita Jeanette Mercader Galleros for the history of scouting. A big hand, please. Okay, so good morning everyone. Good morning, Scouters. To listen because I'm going to read the history of Scouting in the Philippines. Okay, do you understand? Yeah! Okay, very good. So, Scouting in the Philippines among the oldest in the world 
with an old Filipino Boy Scout troop organized in Mindanao as early as 1914. So this is early if one recognizes that scouting started in England with Lord Baden Powell behind it. So in 1908 and was introduced in the United States only in the 1910. So the first Boy Scout troop in the Philippines composed entirely of Filipino Muslim boys. So the troop was organized by Lieutenant Sherman L. Kaiser of the Philippine Scouts, U.S. Army, at an army barrack in Zamboanga. So it was named the Loreland Spencer Troop in honor of the son of Mrs. Caroline Spencer. So Ho's idea and support made the formation of the troop possible. Okay, so on January 1923, the Boy Scout of America Philippine Council was formally organized through the initiative of the Manila Bay, of the Manila Rotary Club. So the program of the Boy Scouts of America was utilized in the Philippines. So realizing that scouting had come to stay in the Philippines, Assemblyman Thomas Confessor of Iloilo sponsored the bill in the National Assembly incorporating the Boy Scouts of the Philippines. With Colonel G. H. Stevnat, Judge Vicente, Vicente Lim, Arsenio and Luz, Carlos Piromolo, Jose B. Vargas, and Gabriel Daza as the incorporation and charter members. This was signed into law of the Commonwealth Act No. 111 on October 31, 1936 by President Manuel El Quezon. So that is for the Boy Scout. Now let's have the Girl Scout. So the Girl Scout of the Philippines, or the GSP, is the National Girl Scouting Association for Girls and Young Women in the Philippines. Its mission is to help girls and young women realize the ideals of womanhood and prepare themselves for the responsibilities in the home, to the nation, and to the world community. So the Girls Only Association serves 800,000 members as of 2017. So the first girl troops were organized in the Philippines as early as 1918 by the American missionaries and servicemen. So these scout troops were directly registered with the Girl Scouts of the USA. So Pilar Hidalgo Lee and Josefa Yanis Escona spearheaded the organization of a scout movement for girls and requested the assistance of the Boy Scouts of the Philippines or the PSP. So in the 1939, Mrs. Escoda was sent to the United States and retained for training through the help of Joseph Stevnat of the PSP. So upon her return to the Philippines, she immediately started setting up the GSP with the help of other civic organizations. 